Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Sunday at the Cottage. I'm going to make us a uh, egg bacon sandwich with homemade bread. <laughs> Fresh grown tomatoes, fresh laid eggs, there's a piece of bread for Zen to chew on. So let's get started you guys, let's get this in the toaster. Look at the size of this tomato. I'll give that to the girls. They will enjoy that. And here you have Michelle. I realized, you guys, when I was cleaning my kitchen up, you, I can use these plates. They're, uh, I've been displaying them, but on the back, they're dishwasher, microwave safe, and you can use them. So I'm using them. I got these at the thrift store one day. Isn't everything nice? Yeah, so I washed them up and I thought, well, I'm going to, it's called Henny Penny Stoneware. Yeah, I'm going to look that up. <laughs> okay. So let's get these sandwiches on. I'm just 
warming up the bacon I had in the fridge. Look at that. Hello, <laughs> can you see that? <laughs> well, there's no use leaving one piece. Piece there, piece there. Mm hmm. Let's get this Sunday started. We got to be busy in the kitchen making homemade beef stew. That's what's fun Sunday dinner today. Homemade beef stew with a homemade dessert. Someone going by is going to get your cookie. You have a little cookie in your mouth. <laughs> One... <laughs> I don't know how she does it. Okay, you guys. I got a lot of things prepped before I started. So this is my stewing beef. How I ended up with this is... I put all my... Put your salt, whatever spices you like, on your meat. I, uh, I sent Bruce a while ago, this was a while ago, when he was going to Romano's to get some uh, stir-fry steak. For steak for stir-fry. So he comes home with with uh, stewing beef for some. <laughs> he told the guy, oh, I need a cheap steak for stir-fry. And the, the guy recommended stewing beef. <laughs> Both of them don't know what they're doing, so what can I say? <laughs> so I got lots of spices on my meat here. And then I'm, I'm going to mix it up. I mixed it up. And I'm going to put some flour on my beef. Just a little bit. Ok, 
Okay, I'm going to give this a mix up. And we're going to get frying this up in my um, my pan, my Dutch oven. Just make the make sure they're all coated. Okay, to my Dutch oven, I'm going to add olive oil. couple tablespoons and some butter a couple tablespoons of butter okay then I'm gonna add my meat I'm going to cook this up till it's nice. It doesn't have to be cooked all the way through. Just to get a nice brown coating on it. Going to add a little more. Just a little more butter. Once the meat is browned up, I'm going to take it out. Like I said, it does not have to be fully cooked. those bits off the bottom. Okay. There's a little more olive oil in there. I'm going to put my, here I have a whole onion, four celery sticks, and a bunch of garlic. Gonna saute that right up for a couple minutes. Just about two, two or three minutes. I'll be back. Okay, after a couple of minutes, I'm gonna put in the carrots and the potatoes. And they go. Stir that up for a few minutes too. Okay, after a few minutes, we're going to add our beef back in. And Gonna give that a good mix. Okay, we're gonna add some Worcester sauce. Just a few dabble do ya. And then okay, it caught usually people put tomato paste in their stew. I never, I never ever keep tomato paste on hand. If I did, it would rot. So you can replace the tomato paste with a little dab of ketchup. Just a dab. <laughs> 
Okay, give that a mix in. Then I put one to two packets of the brown gravy mix. I think I'm going to add both two packets. Mix that up. Okay, now I'm going to add broth. I'm going to start with two cups because I make my own with my bolin. So I'm going to add the first cup, two cups. See if that's enough or I need to add two more cups. Um... I'm just going to add a little more, not a lot, because I don't want to make it into soup. You know what I mean? So let me go add a little more uh, broth. Okay. Add a little more chicken broth. Because this will simmer down. And I'm going to add peas in it. I don't know about, might add some corn, I'm not sure yet. And I can add some beans, green beans to it. But this will simmer down so the gravy will be less. But let's give that a taste. Make sure we got enough salt in there and pepper. Mm-hmm. Mm. That is perfect, man. Perfect. Okay. A gentle boil. Very, very gentle. Let me put the lid on a bit. I'll turn it down to about three, in between two and three. Leave it be. Stir it every few, every bit. I decided I'm going to get rid of these I've had in my freezer and I'm putting them in two. I don't know if it's too early or not. But... Finally get them out of my freezer. Oh, that's healthy. All that healthy stuff. We'll put the peas in last in the corn. That If we put the corn in, we'll put that in last. I can feel it looking like stew already. Got a long ways to go. A couple hours at least. Okay, you guys. We're going to be making our my lemon meringue pie. That's for Bruce today, because he had to work all the weekend. So, I always make my own crust, but you can do whatever you want. You can buy one if you want. But I'm making my Graham Wafer crust. It's just uh, Graham crumbs. I'm using them all. Quarter cup of sugar. And about... Oh... Uh, I don't know, over a quarter cup of butter. Sometimes you might need more butter or less. 
I, I probably got too many crumbs in here, but I want to use them, use them up. No use having a few leftover crumbles, right? Just give it a good mix. Oh, I got to get my oven on. I'm going to cook this for 10 minutes. Good mix it all come together. Get my oven on. Oh, for figure figures, I got a baking pan in the oven. Yeah, I'll just put that over there. Get the oven on three fifty. Hey, what? What are you doing? I'm making you a lemon ring pie, are you huh? Talking to your friends. Yep. Why? Just asking. Being nosy like you do. Well, 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 what are you doing right now? I'm making the crust. How do you make a crust? Can you tell me? Just graham crackers, sugar, and butter. Oh. Very interesting. Do you like to cook bake? I love to cook, yes. You're not cooking, you're baking. Well, I love to cook and bake everything from scratch. Yeah. That's what I like to do. That's what Mama Michelle likes to do. Yeah. And it hit. It's working because both our blood work come back good. Uh huh. Uh huh. So I'll keep cooking from scratch with a little treat here and there. Here, treat, there, treat, everywhere, treat, treat. <laughs> Try and get up on the sides there, and we'll get this in the oven for 10 minutes at 350. Oh, that's a good muffin. That's last muffin. <laughs> they were good, eh, hon? Those uh, pumpkin muffins were really good, you guys. So are these uh, dippers. But, yeah. Oh, show them. From Trader Joe's. We've been enjoying all the Trader Joe's stuff. It's so good. These are, oh, look, it's upside down. Huh? The writing. No, it's not. When you look in their camera, it looks upside down. No, it's not. Oh, okay. When Anyways, you... these are pretty good. They're... Milk dippers. Okay, I gotta get this in the oven. Get out of your way. Yeah. Okay, guys. Now we're gonna make the lemon meringue. So in my book, my uh, pan here, I have one and a half cups of sugar, six tablespoons of cornstarch, and a pinch of salt. Let's give that a mix. Okay, to this I'm going to add one cup of, one and a half cups of water. Okay, I'm going to keep mixing that and watching it until it starts to come to a boil. Once it starts to boil a bit, it'll start to thicken, and you're going to stir it constantly for two minutes. Set your timer for two minutes. Once it thick, feels thickened, okay? Once it starts thickening up, set your timer for two minutes. Mine's not thickened yet. It will be, though. Okay, I feel it thickening. I'm going to turn it right down. And then I'm going to keep stirring it for two minutes. My timer's on. See that? It just pops up uh, upon you. So you got to be ready for it. Give it a good stir. Turn your heat right down. Okay, you have to have three egg yolks at the side here. I got four. 
because my my chickens are just laying, so my eggs are small. So I'm going to do four, but do three if your uh, eggs are regular large. Okay, got this right down. It's hot. <laughs> you got to cook the gel. Okay, now I'm going to take a cup out of here, out of this. If you add this directly, if you add your egg yolks directly in there, you're going to you're going to cook your eggs, okay? So then uh I've got my egg yolks here. I'm going to add this in here. And I'm going to give this a mix into the egg yolks. You have to do it this way or you will cook your eggs. You don't want to cook your eggs. You'll know if they're if they're um, crumbly looking. And we're going to put it back in the pot. On a low heat. Mix it together. For two more minutes. I gotta get this out. All of it. Okay, keep mixing and stirring for two minutes. Okay, after your two minutes, you should see it bubbling a little bit. You're going to take it right off the heat. Okay. Right off the heat. I'm going to add in... Uh, two tablespoons of butter. Where did my... <laughs> two tablespoons of butter. Okay. One third cup of squeezed, fresh squeezed lemon juice. Okay. And then two teaspoons of the rind of a lemon. Oh, if you guys could smell this. Smells wonderful. Oh. This is kind of like an end of summer pie. <laughs> yes, it's one of our favorites. Easy, but there's tricks. You gotta watch out for like the uh, like adding the mixture to your egg yolks instead of adding your egg yolks to the mixture. Got me? <laughs> Okay, so now I have my pie crust I cooked and we're going to add the filling to our pie crust.
Okay, push this around. Ooh, <laughs> my pie crust is hot. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to make our meringue. Okay, I'll bring you over to the mixer. I have my four egg whites in here from my four eggs, remember? I used the, the yolks for them for the uh, lemon pudding. And the yolk and the egg whites are going to be used for the meringue. So... I got that in there and you want this at room temperature you do not want it cold I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of vanilla extra and one quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar now you, you can't leave out the cream of tartar and on the side here, I got six tablespoons of sugar that I'll gradually add as we mix. So let's get started here. I do it right on high. Once you see it start turning a bit, start adding a little bit of sugar. A little bit at a time. Once you see it start going glossy, that's what you want. Okay, that's what I want. It's glossy. Glossy meringue. Okay. get this meringue on top of the pot. And you have to make sure you push it all the way to the edge and cover up the edges because if any of that meringue is seen, it's going to turn to water and leak and your pie is going to be watery. That's another thing about this that you have to remember. Okay, just make sure it's sealed.
Okay, you can make your uh, your little, what do you call these? Dips, I guess. <laughs> We're going to get this in the oven. Okay. Okay, 350 in the oven for tw uh, 15 minutes. We'll see you when it comes out of the oven. Okay, our pie is done. Get it out of the oven. We're going to let it cool. Oh my gosh, look at that. Let it cool down. Get it in the fridge. We want it in there for a while. You can even cook this the day before and leave it sit in your fridge and it'll be perfect. But I'm sure we're going to want a piece tonight for Sunday dinner. Okay guys, we have dinner. We have beef stew, homemade bread, butter, and a homemade, I was going to say key lime, <laughs> a homemade, what do you call it? Oh my gosh, lemon meringue pie. Let's fix our plate and I'll show you. Okay, there's Bruce's. And he's got bread. I'm going to fix mine. There's mine. I like less meat than Bruce. He likes more meat. I like more veggies, like potatoes. <laughs> and there's my bread. We're going to go eat. And then hopefully we'll have room for a piece of pie. She brings things so she can trade for something, for a cookie or something. What do you got today, Sandy? You know how hard it is to get a lid off the floor. <laughs> you want to trade it. that? Oh, well, she's going to chew it, I guess. It is time to cut the pie. It's dark. <laughs> it took me forever to get that bread done. and uh, I don't know. I think my... Did I buy gluten-free flour for crepe things? Every time... I'm not buying that organic... Uh, flour again. I don't know what kind it is from Costco, but it's turning my bread. It's not. It's not worth making. It's not working for my bread. I'm gonna have to make cookies and see what happens with it. It's just terrible. Oh, look at that, you guys. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Homemade is best. Uh -huh. That is perfect all the way around the crust, the lemon. The fresh eggs did it. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm going to put this in the fridge. We'll bring Grease's pie and we'll see you guys in the next one.